welcome back uh, this is uh, again we are uh, going inside compressor uh, maintenance so this is part 2 part 1 link has been already given in the description you can uh, check that so for uh, removing the piston out first uh, what you need to do is uh, you have to remove the lock plate uh, you have to just uh, take out the lock plate from the bolt so that you can get provision for fitting uh, box screw for uh, removing the bolt so all you need to do is uh, take a minus uh, screwdriver just hit it on the plate lock plate which is on head of the bolt so that once you remove it you get the provision to fit your bucket, uh, socket wala to open the bolt so now i had fitted the socket but it is little bit smaller so i am using the other socket and it's open now open it and uh, take the plate out because this plate usually comes along with the double pin so keep it safely once it is out then you can easily take the piston out from the crankshaft and just uh, make sure someone is holding the piston on the other side so that it don't fall down so it is a v v type so just be careful when you are taking out that's all now the piston is already out from the unit so first piston is out so we are removing the second piston so second piston also same way just make sure uh, you are uh, taking it out without hitting anywhere because uh, it may again get damaged if you hit somewhere this is the bearing for the connecting rod this bearing is good this bearing is not a problem but the top uh, top bearing is a little bit problematic so we will be changing that bearing also so that's all both the piston has been removed from place so i think uh, okay both the piston has been removed i told you what is the purpose of this uh, rod because with this rod when rotates it dips in it get dips inside the oil bath and throw the oil out when it comes up just uh, rotate the bearing and see whether it is stuck or not just check all the roller is in place just visual inspection is okay if it is damaged it will be obviously get stuck somewhere or uh, you can see visual damage so that is not uh, seen in that uh, bearing so you can see uh, in this you can see there is no uh, split pin that uh, yeah in this you can see the see you can see the pin and in this there is uh, no pin inside the groove so now uh, anyway we will change all see the condition of the piston so this is the reason why we removed the piston out the piston is completely damaged since uh, long time we don't get spare we didn't open the piston now we receive the spare so we'll be doing renewing the piston yeah i will go a little bit closer yeah this is the damaged piston and it got a lot of score mark and both uh, all the three grooves are uh, damaged let me have a look at the crankshaft crankshaft is uh, good there is no problem just whenever you do some major inspection just have a look at the crankshaft also so that if it is damaged will come to know but most of the time until unless your uh, machine is complete damage then it don't happen you can see the roller bearing on the crankshaft side also it's it got a bigger roller anyway this is how we need to remove the piston from the unit Oh, 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 oh,